the Peranakan community has always been an important part in Singapore's history. During the 19th and early 20th century, the Peranakans played a dominant role in Singapore's economic and social affairs. One prominent family was the Lee family, whose collection of family papers provides a window into the lives of the Peranakan community during the colonial and post-colonial period. Here with me today is Mr. Peter Lee. Hi. Peter is the son of the late uh, Mr. Likip Lee. Uh, Mr. Likip Lee was the president of the Peranakan Association and was later the honorary wife president. In 2016, uh, Mr. Lee donated uh, his family's archives to the National Library. The Likip Lee and Likip Lin family archives is a collection of over 6,000 documents dating from the 1890s to the 1980s. The collection comprises mainly business and personal letters of uh, members of the Lee family. It also includes uh, other business documents and family records. Peter, I noted that the majority of the documents uh, were from Lee Chim Hak and Lee Chim Tuan. So can you share with us um, who were they? My father Lee Kip Lee and his brother Lee Kip Lin mm. ran a stevedoring business uh, in Pulau Bukong. Their father, Lee Chim Hak, my grandfather, started the business with his older brother, Lee Chim Tuan. They acted as um, secretaries for their uncle, Chun Guan, and this involved investments in all kinds of things from banks to shipping. We see that in 1922, he negotiated uh, a deal uh, in which uh, the Straits Steamship Company uh, bought over the Penang-based uh, Eastern Shipping Company. Besides that, he was also in a number of companies like rubber plantation, mining, trade and finance companies. This letter, dated 6 September 1932, uh, was written by Li Chim Tuan to the Chinese Commercial Bank and through the letter, uh, he informed the company's uh, secretary that he was voting for the merger of the three banks to form the Overseas Chinese Banking Corporation in 1932. Yeah, what I love about it is that he was just a small shareholder, but it just captures, you know, a little point of view of the man on the street. And also, you know, accompanying it is this circular sent out by the Ho Hong Bank. Um, it's sort of ephemera, it's sort of a document that people would just throw away. The oil industry in Singapore started around 1891, and this seemed to provide a business opportunity for Lee Chim Hak and Lee Chim Tuan. I believe Shell Company, which was then known as the Asiatic Petroleum, Petroleum Company, company. Yeah, they invited Lee Chim Tuan to set up the company. So Lee Chim Tuan, of course, pulled in his favourite brother, Lee Chim Hak, my grandfather, and the two of them ran this stevedoring business in Pulau Bukum. So we have files relating to the business in Bukum from the day it started. And it just gives you an insight to how business was run. Peter, this is a great collection. It not only gives us a close-up view, of the lives of uh, members of a Peranakan family over two generations. It also provides a rich first-hand resource on the banking and social history of Singapore. It was very hard to part with. There are many letters that were written by many generations, actually. And I finally decided that it was something our family was willing to let go of because there's so much to share here. And the many aspects of life in the past we could uh, celebrate and study from these documents.